Hey guys, it's Cameron here. This is Gaming News 114. This Game News is for July 25th, uh, Monday. So yeah, a little late. Sorry about that. I know I've been late, uh, late lately, but been pretty busy. You know, I'm only able to post whenever I can. Now, I think that's all I gotta say before I get started with this gaming news, but let's go ahead and get started. It has been said that Modern Warfare 3 is the best co-op experience yet. Um, I don't know. We'll just wait and see. I mean, it's Call of Duty, so I can't really say that's true or not. But moving on from that, Ubisoft has said that Far Cry 3 is a definite upgrade. Um, I did have Far Cry 2 and did not enjoy it, but at at the same time i didn't really give it a chance it was just too old for me to enjoy and i know um just because it's old i can't enjoy it but like it's all about first first impressions with me and first impressions for that game was not that good so Far Cry 3 looks amazing so i can't um i'm not sure if i'm gonna play it or not need to see more for it but it does look great but moving on from that it has been said that um with the rage um they're doing things that other companies can't that sounds pretty awesome and competitive compared to the other people making games so um i was gonna buy this game this year but decided not to um, just because there's a lot of other games coming out this year but i am probably renting this game because it looks great but it just looks like a game i might get tired of and plus there's still that rumor that has not been confirmed that if the game's like only i think it was like 14 hours long i'm not sure if that was confirmed or not and it's two discs for xbox 360 so i most likely would get it for ps3 because i'm not trying to handle two discs that's I still find that kind of ridiculous. Obviously, 360's reached this limit. If it has to have more than one disc, in my opinion, but you know, I'm a PS3 fanboy, so of course I'm gonna say that. But moving on from that, um, has been said that Star Wars: The Old Republic to last for decades. It says Bioware, and decades is a long time, ten years, but with the S, so decade, so that's twenty years. I don't know. I won't go that far as decades. It'll probably last a good five years now. Ten years? It's possible if it's that good. I know I wouldn't... I'm not a big fan of that style of gameplay, MMO style. But, like, for fans of that style, it might actually last them that long. And, and if they even like the Star Wars universe. But, I don't know. But, uh, good luck, Bioware. But moving on from that... It has been said that Mass Effect 3 is hands down more RPG or an or ah, orientated I can't say it than Mass Effect 2. So basically it's gonna have more RPG elements than Mass Effect 2, which is good for the RPG fans now. This kinda makes me not want to play Mass Effect 3 because I'm not into the RPG genre. Um I don't know why, I'm just not. But more with Mass Effect 3. Bioware has says that uh, Mass Effect 3 is inspired by Halo, Gears of War, Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, and others. That's, I mean, those are the biggest game, biggest names at, you know, this, well, I can't say this year, but biggest names of this generation. Uh, you know, some of them are the biggest names of this generation, and Mass Effect 3 is inspired by those games plus others. That's like, wow. That might make people want to play Mass Effect, but no, the little RPG thing didn't, you know, made me not want, really want to play it. And I did play Mass Effect 1. That did not work out so well for me. I own Mass Effect 2. Did not work out either, and I already sold it. So, um, obviously, I don't think I'm going to play Mass Effect 3. So, I don't know. But moving on from that, it has been an uh, announced the uh, Assassin's Creed Revela Revelation Special Editions, the Collector's Edition. Um, we'll have a 50-page 50, 50 art book, a soundtrack, a copy of the animated flick, the Assassin's Creed Embers, and plus extra in-game content in form of two multiplayer characters. So that's pretty cool. The Animus Edition will um, include everything that the um, Clutch Edition had, plus um, an in-depth ser series of Cyclopedia. So that's pretty cool. Um, I not I do not have a price for these. I do have uh, well year uh, well yeah UK pricing which is sixty eight ninety nine euro or I don't know, but uh, yeah, um, we'll probably get a you know 
um, English release date for that soon. But yeah, the Animus edition is the one I just priced. The other one is fifty nine ninety nine euros. If that's the sign for euros, I'm not really sure. But um, when I have more details on that, I will show you guys. Probably when there's a picture up, I'll talk more about it and get into American pricing. But um, the Assassin's Creed Embers is an animated short movie that uh, tells the tale of Ezio's final chapter, like completely final chapter, like he's old and everything. There's a little trailer out and it's it's pretty interesting. So I tell you guys to go check that out, but the game will be released on November 15th, which it says here. So that's pretty cool. So moving on from that, it has been said that From Dust, which is a game come to PlayStation Network, Xbox Live, Arcade, and PC, well, the PC version has been delayed until August 17th, so that's kind of sad, but um, I guess um, the game looks interesting, but I would think the PC version will probably be the best version and probably more features, so, you know, they have their reasons. But moving on from that, Epic says the Un uh, Unreal series will return when it makes sense. Well, if it makes sense, so don't know when that's going to be, probably... I don't think anytime soon, but it will return. I know that. But moving on from that, Avatar Connect, um, which is, you know, uh, a, a chat room, but with Xbox avatars, and you can have up to eight people, like if you're in a party, and it does facial animations of your avatar and stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. I haven't used it yet, but it is out today. So if you guys do want to go check that out, you could go to, to Connect Fun Labs and yeah i think it's connect required even to go to connect fun lab so if you're trying to just get in get in there with friends but without a connect i don't think that's going to work out but also i have news on connect sparkler um it will be available this thursday now unfortunately i will not be able to use these features well connect sparkler uh, sadly will be uh, sorry i kind of got off topic but connect sparkler i just saw this that it will be using uh, you will have to have 240 Microsoft points, and uh, yeah, that kind of sucks, so I probably won't be getting that. Um, I don't think I'm going to get... Hey, I do have Microsoft points, don't I? Uh, well, the reason. let me get back to what I was saying. The reason why I'm not going to be able to use these features because as bots... Well, Microsoft hates me. Like, I can't use live or the crap now, so... Um, yeah, I tried using Avatar Connect today. I let it sit there for 15 minutes and was only on 2%. So and I had to connect, uh, stay on Connect Fun Labs. So yeah, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might need your opinion on this, which I'll just ask you guys real quick. Should I move the Xbox closer to my internet connection, which is in the front room, but probably won't be able to, to play like at all? And I do want to play live, especially with my new headset here. but. Should I do that or just go ahead and try to purchase a newer version of an Xbox with built-in Wi-Fi? I'll let you guys answer that down below in the comments, but sorry, getting off topic. Let me continue on with the video. There is a rumor that Microsoft is to launch the Xbox 720 in 2013. Of course, there's rumors like this almost like every few weeks or so, saying uh, the PS4 coming out that time, Xbox 720 coming out that time and stuff like that. I mean, it's a good it's a good release year. Um, 2013, I would kind of expect them to announce it next E3, 2012, and then um, announce it, you know, next next year and release it the year after. And then PS4, I would think it'd be announced 2013 or 14, uh, and be uh, released like 2015 or 14. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen but we'll just wait and see but moving on for now the uh, the Wii U pa the Wii G the Wii U's power has Valve interested and it has been rumors um, of, of Valve partnering with Nintendo with this new system so I'm pretty sure that's a done deal I'm pretty sure that's a fact but um, you know that they're making games for the Wii U or a game I'm not sure games but you know a game but moving on from that no more heroes heroes paradise demo will be available in the on the playstation store tomorrow same with back to the future episode 5 golden ats um for everyone um dragon age 2 legacy dlc some minis uh, rock band dlc deadliest warrior legends a full game in demo 
and Section 8 pre-justice. So that's pretty cool. Um, it has also with No More Heroes, it has been said is it, it is stepping on a new pre platform. So and it has been said that it's going to be on a mobile platform, and mobile could just mean portable. But it seems like it's it's going to be smartphones because it says smartphones on here. Now, if I was going to think portable, I would think Vita or 3DS. Now it says smartphones, so that kind of defeats the purpose on being on those two gaming platforms. But you know, when it comes to smartphones, Android or iOS, well, for you know, iPhone or iPod, whatever. But um, I don't know. Um, I actually can see it on I the iOS, really. I really can. But whatever. Moving on from that. Um, as you guys may know, um, I did talk about this yesterday. I'm not sure exactly what I said, but I know I did say Tekken Hybrid, which is a PS3 exclusive, which comes with Tekken Tag Tournament HD, Tekken Blood Vengeance movie, and a sudden call Tekken Prologue. I think I told you guys, I think it's a demo. I'm not sure if I confirmed if it was a demo in my last gaming news, but it is confirmed to be the demo. Um, uh, Tekken um, Tag Tournament Prologue. Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Prologue. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And you'll be able to play as two of the characters. Um, I think I think Alyssa and I can't say her name. I know she's like a Chinese girl. Uh, but um, with the, the little wristbands on if you guys know Tekken. But yeah, you'll be able to play as those two characters in the demo. But moving on from that, as you guys know, God of War Master Collection has been rumored for the past few days now. And nothing's been said about it, but it seems like it's currently only for Germany at the moment, according to, you know, Amazon, since no word has been given out of it being out anywhere else besides, you know, Germany, since it's only on Amazon Germany at the moment. So uh, I guess be patient if it really is coming around the world or we... It'll probably be released later on. I don't know, but we'll just wait and see. Moving on from that, I got two PlayStation Vita news. Um, it has been said that PlayStation Vita will be getting a pu public showing at t the Tokyo Game Show, which I think is around September, so that's coming up um, pretty soon. But um, it has been said that they will be talking about the system's release date, which we already know about. Oh, wait, we don't know about it. I didn't really think about that. The actual release date for the Vita, which is great. Um, the, launch, the launch lineup, so there could be titles we don't even know about that's going to be in the launch lineup, so I can't wait for that. The 3G pricing and probably, th um, you know, everything about 3G. And it says UMD issues will be answered. I don't know. Oh, I know what they mean by that. If you, you know, uh, purchase UMD games and you want to play it on your Vita, uh, I guess they'll be answering some of those questions like how you'll be able to play those UMD games without repurchasing it uh, downloadably through the PlayStation Store but that should be interesting to hear so I can't wait for a Tokyo Game Show for that for sure but more one more thing on the Vita um, it, there's been rumors about the battery life and um, they were talking to someone with from Sony and he said um, not to worry about the uh, battery life. He said it's. I think it's been taken care of. Like, cause he says um, he knows the battery life is important, uh, given the fact that it's create. They're creating a personal portable and mobile gaming experience. So they have to do good with the battery. So um, I think the battery's not going to be an issue. Hopefully not. But can't wait to get all the details about the Vita. That's. I can't say it's pretty much my number one thing this year besides Uncharted 3, but it's basically those two, Uncharted 3 and everything that's Vita. But uh, yeah, that's all for this gaming news. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.